Alright, I'm going to do a quick deck tech. Uh, my blue red Firehound control deck. Um, been working on this deck for a while. I've been trying to find the right ratio of counter spells to burn spells just to make the big guy bigger. Um, I was only running two main, two side. I went up to the four full main and um, running four deprives as extra copies in the sideboard just to um, push it more controlly. And going with that, I got careful study and faithless looting just to start rifling through my deck, filling up my graveyard. Firebolt and uh, lightning bolt, four of each. Get to flash these back, so if I end up having to chuck an extra thing to careful study because I want to keep a counter spell or I want to keep something else to go cheap, I can do that. Uh, Scav's just a really good card. Chain two or three spells together, he's already a five. You got some extra mana left over, you can pump him six, seven. Uh, can close out the game quickly. The Sage here um, ends up being a four mana kind of, well, just a weird Mole Drifter. I, I, I like Mole Drifter, but I always found myself just evoking him on turn four, trying to hit my fourth land drop anyways, or my fifth land drop turn five or six. And these guys usually, with all my discard spells I've got a pretty full graveyard by the time I get to four mana and he gets to I get to look at three cards instead of two and get to keep a two three body on the ground which is not irrelevant in popper um, deep analysis is just good to chuck to these spells and more than happy to flash it back for two mana and three life on turn two um, Wretch Griff Usually to sack to the sage, or sack the sage to it after I've cast it, you know, two man I get three, four, and get to draw an extra card. Um, sideboard wise, electricery and Malika Progenitus. Electricery is very good against things like elves and one mana, or one toughness creature decks. Like the white decks, etc. Relic of Progenitus, really mostly there to um, clear out angler decks and um, um, anything playing um, uh, Chainer's Edict, so cut back on the flashbacks. Sadly, it can hit my own flashbacks too, but I'm not running the black mana for the uh, spell bomb. Just the win, just great value when people are playing giant creatures like anglers and stuff to be able to bounce them back to their hand and make them recast it on the next turn. Or maybe you've already emptied their graveyard, so now they can't cast it again. Deprive, like I said, is basically four more counter spells. Two more fiery tempers to go with the two of the main. To check to the study and the looting, just to get an extra three damage in cast it cheaper two stone rains to um, try to slow down uh, your Tron matchups it can also be good against um, uh, boggles because usually they're running only a like 18 19 lands and a bunch of enchantments that they enchant up on their lands just to give them extra enchantments in play so after they get two or three of them, you stone rain it away. They might not have any mana for the rest of the game. So that's just an extra option. Um, this is the deck. Uh, I've been playtesting it a little bit. It does play well, having the extra counter spells and the, the four main counter spells. It's always nice to have one in your pocket. Running a ton of islands, running the four fulls. A full four swift water cliffs, a few mountains, two sandbars, two forgotten caves. In case I start flooding out, I can cycle them away. And two evolving wilds, just to be able to go get what I need when I need it. Um, that's the deck. Uh, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG. Thank you.